Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Majabina Haiduri. I am from Afghanistan. I have been a refugee uh, from last seven months in Azerbaijan, but I have I had been a refugee from uh, from my childhood. I don't remember those moments, but my father narrated this all to me that we we had to force uh, leave Afghanistan and move to our neighboring country, Pakistan. After my mother killed, starting a new journey of migration life without knowing the language, without the support and ask from UNICEF was very tough. I spent my childhood with full of difficulties. I worried about I worried about food, clothing, and fun. Having a doll was my biggest dream on that time, but it remained unfulfilled. Normally, kids enjoy their childhood more than any other period of time, but I suffered a lot during the time being a refugee. I was only seven when I had to sit for work in carpet. That's called child labor, but I accepted as a normal thing. Me and my family were weaving carpet in order to make money for survival and control of our life. For controlling our life. After a long time, I had opportunity to go to school and continue my education. The school was enrolled from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. This was the schedule for all refugees This was a schedule for all refugees, and because the first and the second shifts was for locals. After, being, after finishing my school, my dream and ambitions to become a doctor and control uh, and help my country, uh, women and kids, finally I succeeded my wish, and I worked in Pakistan for four years. Helping the humanity and the case was my biggest dream. After a long time, suddenly I heard about my brother's wedding. The night my father talked that we will go to Kabul because the bride was in Kabul and we celebrate the wedding. We was very happy. We was very delighted. And when we went to Afghanistan, we celebrate the wedding it was very nice, we really enjoy, we really happy. We was in a nice places. While we returning from hotel to home, our car was attacked by the gunman and local commanders. The wedding ended deadly. They killed the bride, my father, and my brother's friend. In the moment they killed my father in front of my eyes, I thought that the world is darkened. They killed my hope, my wish, and my happiness. Yes, they took my father from me. I lost my dad, the only one who could compensate my dad's, my mom's absence. After that, we decided to raise our voice and talk to the media. And the local commanders was not agreed. They treated us and they decided to kill us. Unfortunately, we reported to the police and the government and we couldn't receive any reaction. On that time, we decided to go back to Pakistan. By reaching Pakistan, the bad guys, the bad guys were still following us and then they tried to kill. We approached UNICEF, we reported the threat. Unfortunately, UNICEF was not in the capacity on that time to help us and feel and make safety for us. We was confused. We are thinking that what should we do? So we made a, we make a Google search and decided to go and, and found Azerbaijan and coming to Azerbaijan. When I reach Azerbaijan, I feel peace and safety. But I know, however, the new challenges are waiting for me. And I decided 
to, to work in here. One day I got out and tried to find some works. The first word that I learned in Azerbaijan was man islamak istayid. But unfortunately, I applied many places, but always rejected with polite and negative response. The main reasons was uh, language and legal barriers. I didn't lose hope. I decided to learn the language and restart my life. When I tried to restart my life, I heard about UNICEF, UNICEF that they have the some chances for refugees. They uh, take classes for refugees like Azerbaijani English and some other things. I offered as an English uh, teacher in, in that center. It was very delighted and I became really happy to do some things for the refugee that I didn't have anything in my hand right now. And then I started teaching. When you see that your children grow up and they, their ability, their skills getting better and better day by day, you feel so proud and you are so happy for that, that these uh, kinds of helps all the teachers have. Yes, I talked about many things and now I am very confused about my future. Not about my future, about the all refugees. What will we do after this? Where we should go? And what's the, our solutions? The main solutions that our refugee life will be end, when will it will be end? And when will I able to call a real citizen? And when will I able to call a country my own, not a refugee anymore? Because the title of the refugee is very hard to carry. to carry because of this we have to find the solutions for all the refugees thanks ladies and gentlemen for your attention